I... It's because he's afraid of my powers. Y you You followed us. I didn't even notice. It's been ten long years, Detective Jowd. What? Are you... Yomiel? Is that his name? I don't know. Oop. Uh. Uh. So you remember me, do you? How could I possibly forget? So that's your real name, huh? Yomiel. That's right. But those people on the Inoa were calling you Sissel. That's just an alias, alias I was using for my deal with them. I didn't see any need to tell them my real name. Could you do me a favor? Would you let me ask you some questions? I've been trying to find out my true identity all night. Sure, go ahead. I'm sure there's plenty we can still tell you, right, Detective Jowd? Right. About Yodbiel. Yeah, let's ask about him. Ten years ago, you were a top systems engineer, weren't you? Systems engineer? What's that? <laughs> By the way, I'm a top Pomeranian, you know. I won contests. Well, it's kind of hard to explain to a dog, but it's a person who's good at using computers. I don't mean to brag, but I was one of the best in the industry. That's how I got roped into joining that project. Project? What project? It was a project aimed at reorganizing the nation's top secret information. The goal was to build a new system using multi-dimensional programming theory. What the fuck is that? I was asked to join the project by an agent of the government. It doesn't sound like something a top Pomeranian would know anything about. To me, it just sounded like another challenging job. Okay. However, this project was also the target of a secret plot. I bet you can imagine the kind of crime the nation's top secrets might attract. I never thought for the life of me I'd ever have to deal with spies. It was never made public, but every organization in the country moved on this one. And then one day, the name of a certain programmer emerged as a suspect. Mm -mm. Oh, it was me. It was you. I was the guy who built the core of the system. The police arrested you, and then that incident happened. He escaped from the interrogation room and took little Lin as a hostage. Yeah, that sucks. By the way, Detective Jowd, when was it that I was proven innocent? About six months after your death. I'm so sorry, Yomiel. That sucks. Let's ask about the real motive for revenge ten years ago. That's, that's when Mr. Meteor fell. And some crashing shit happened. Oh, God, my leg is killing me. My soul was split from my body, and I lost everything. I was sealed in eternal darkness. It's also a good game. And I walked a lot. <laughs> I existed in this world. No question about that. Oh, I can't even skip this. Okay. But nobody noticed my presence. I was a ghost. And I passed all these people while my shadow was in the uh, spotlight. What good were my powers? They didn't help anybody. Uh, okay. Not even the passage of time could heal my pain. Why is this Detective Jowd's theme when it's him? In fact, it only made it worse. Or maybe it's like a combination theme. <laughs> while all these weird people passed me by, and then I went to the ocean, I wanted to disappear. But I wasn't even allowed to do that. The way Lynn described it ex is exactly right. Sinking slowly toward the bottom of an endless sea. An overwhelming feeling of loneliness and despair. And I wanted all of you to suffer what I was suffering. Okay, so you wanted everyone to feel things. And so that's why you murdered Alma. That's right. I wanted you to know what it was like to lose everything you cared about. I wanted you to feel the same pain I felt. What? Okay, great, you still murdered my wife, asshole. It was the twisted wish of a mind poisoned by infinite loneliness. And then, as I was plotting my revenge, I had an idea. I came up with a plan to use these powers of mine to make a deal. Okay, let's ask what that deal was. There's something I just don't understand about that deal. I'm sure your powers would be very valuable to them, but what would you get out of the deal? A new life. Life? I asked them for two conditions. Number one was that they helped me with my revenge plot, and the second was a rebirth for me. Rebirth? A new beginning, eh? I didn't care if it was a fake life, an artificial life. I just wanted a physical receptacle for my... Receptacle? Yeah, for my soul. A name, an identity, an everyday life. I wanted to grow old in a society that would accept me. And finally I wanted to die, surrounded by a loving family. That's the kind of life I asked them for. A completely man-made life. That's right, I knew I couldn't hope for anything more than that. To make it all come true, I knew it would take a lot of money and a lot of power. 
That's why I decided to ask a national government to help me. That was your first mistake. Right. And the response in the end was betrayal. Well, I mean, you still weren't a good guy, dude. They were making their mo moves much more carefully than I suspected. They sent spies to this country and researched my powers on their own, and they even figured out what Temsik was all about. And you had no idea they were doing all this? Not at all. I was a fool. So then, why did they go to all the trouble of making a deal with you? Why didn't they just steal a hunk of the Temsik meteorite from the park? They couldn't. Huh? And why, why not? Yeah, why would that be? After the manipulator incidents, research was conducted in this country too. By Pigeon Man. A report was submitted to the government about the source of the manipulator's power. And he danced on in. With his Michael Jackson moves. By Inspector Cabanella and the old pigeon guy, eh? Yeah? So, at first the government didn't believe the report. But then they decided to put the park under surveillance just in case. Surveillance, huh? It just looks like an ordinary peaceful park, but there are all there are armed agents there at all times. Oh shit. Really? Wow. <laughs> Why didn't they ever shoot this guy? Don't tell me that odd leaflet guy is one of them. No, not him. He's just a plain old odd person. Really? <laughs> That's just a guy that escaped from a homeless shelter or something. Right. Not a homeless shelter, like a Whatever. crazy hospital. Crazy hospital, right. Like ward. Yeah, a guy that escaped from a psych ward. That park is like a silent battlefield on an international scale. So that's why they couldn't steal the Tempsic meteorite. And lately, under the pretense of building a housing site, they've been working on a plan to destroy that park in order to secure the Tempsic meteorite. So that's it, eh? Huh. So the upshot of your grand deal was this, eh? Yeah, it's the ending I deserve. But at least there's one thing you must be happy about. What's that? You've managed to seal me away at the bottom of the sea forever. Yeah, you're happy, right? You got your revenge. Well, shall we get started? Started with what? Bringing Detective Jowd back to life, of course. What what good will that do now? But we promised! We promised Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla we'd save them. And we can't do that without you, Detective Jowd. I've been guided by fate tonight to this place. I won't give up now. All right, fine. Let's see where it leads us. Here we go, then. Back to four minutes before your death. Now, I believe this is only like a minute before something else happens. And where things change. But I could be wrong on that. I don't know. So here we are in the S, you know, uh... Do 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 do. So, where are we headed? We are not headed anywhere, Detective. What? Oh, we saw all this. We will run out of end soon. What are you talking about? That would mean that you're trapped here too. Yeah, we saw that he's a robot, right? Didn't we? Maybe we didn't. I don't remember. By the way, I'm not human, Detective. See? See? I can yeah. do this. I'm a remote-controlled robot, Detective. What? Oh, good, then we can ride on your back out of here. Yeah, your, country, you, your country's use of technology is just plain off. We get that a lot, Detective. So wait, are you a sentient robot? Or are you, are you talk, or is someone talking through you? Why would you go to all the trouble to do this? That's nothing but a shell there. It's hardly a threat anymore. Commander Sith likes to provide against any possibility, no matter how small, Detective. Possibility? What are you talking about? There's no need for you to know, Detective. Oh, do they know about me? And then slap! There we go. Holy shit. Creep. Wow. The fuck is that, Gap? That's, it's a Gatling gun. Now it's time to say goodbye, Detective. In the end, your fate remains the same, it seems, Detective. Grr! Camila, forgive me. Ow. Ooh. That sucks. And, okay. What? Well, it isn't over yet. It isn't? Remember what that big masked man said? Any possibility, no matter how small. Possibility? In other words, there must be a chance here somewhere. The possibility of turning this situation around. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Because there, there's not really much in this room to do. So let's, let's do it. Whoa! Huh? What is it, detective? Look at Yomiel's shell. There's no aura emanating from his body. Of course there isn't. The Tempsic fragment is gone. Could this change in his shell give us some kind of lead? Let's let's see what we can do. Whoa. Oh, hey, it's you again. Getting I figured it deep. out. I know what this... Deep. What? It's getting deep. Getting deep? Yeah. You think it's deep now? A little bit, yeah. I know what this possibility, no matter how small is, that they are afraid of. What is it? My time was perpetually stopped thanks to the power of Tempsic. His body cycled between... Yeah, we talked about that. Right, but not anymore. The Temsic fragment has been taken away. Exactly. So what does that mean? 
I get it. It means your body's gonna rot, like, in two minutes. Your body won't come back to life anymore. The moment the Tempsic Fragment was removed, my shell became a regular corpse. So let's see, that means we can go back. Back to four minutes before your death? But wait a minute, exactly when is that death? That's simple. We'll find out. When we get there, let's move. So do you remember when his death is? No. Are you serious? We've been playing- On the- on the- wait, is it his death in the park? Yeah. Yeah, so- How long ago was that? Years. So we're going back ten years. How can you go back ten years or you only back four minutes? It goes back four minutes before death. Oh, okay. I fell back through the cracks of time for what seemed like forever, and then I saw it, the final death at the end of this long night. Who exactly am I? I've already seen all the clues. All I have to do now is remember. So, the final journey to the truth starts now. Uh-oh. And... So... Um, we have all the foreshadowing. Can you guess who Sissel really is? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> I cannot. All right. I'm not that smart. Yeah. So, uh, next time it's the final session. Yay. And, uh, we'll be we'll done with this long, long night. Yay. So, bye, everyone. Bye.